Okay, so if you're watching this video, then that must mean Lugia is once again returning to raid battles, and you're looking for the absolute best counters to bring up against this boss, as well as some budget counters if you are lacking in legendaries. That's precisely what I'm going to be covering in today's video. This is my comprehensive raid guide for Lugia, and it should help you defeat this boss with the least number of trainers as possible. Alright, so without further ado, let's roll the intro and get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go Raid Guide video. Today we're going to be covering the Psychic and Flying type legendary Pokemon Lugia. This is one of the fan favorites when it comes to Pokemon Go, considering that Lugia was the first legendary that was ever introduced into Pokemon Go, as well as the first shiny legendary that you could get in raids. But of course, many veteran players will tell you that Lugia is no walk in the park. It does have a lot of great stats, which will Will make it very difficult to defeat if you are not going with the right counters. So let's go over those right now. Considering that it is a psychic and flying type legendary Pokemon, that means there's going to be a whole plethora of different weaknesses to different Pokemon that Lugia is going to have, which means you will likely have a full team of great counters going up against this boss, regardless if you have a whole bunch of legendaries or not. Now, let's talk about the absolute best counters. In the most ideal scenario, you will want to have a full team of Zekrom with Charge Beam and Wild Charge, and then have a Mega Manetric to boost them up. Now, if you and your partners all have this setup, then you will completely melt down Lugia, considering that it is completely weak against Electric types. But let's say you are lacking in Zekrom. Well, you could opt to use Dark types, Ghost types, or even Ice types as well. All of these Pokemon are going to do really well against Lugia, and considering that Lugia doesn't have too many different moves, it's going to be easy for you to just nuke down this boss without having to worry about any of its moves, countering any of your Pokemon. If you're not going to go the Zekrom route, then I highly suggest you go with Weavile. There's a whole bunch of ways you can go about it. You can have a whole bunch of Dark-type Weavile or even Ice-type Weavile, or you can even mix and match and have a Weavile with Snarl and Avalanche. That move combination could actually be the highest DPS output against Lugia considering that it is weak against both Ice types and Dark types. Another great option is of course Mewtwo with Shadow Ball. I mean, considering that Mewtwo is a Psychic type itself, it will resist a lot of Lugia's moves, especially the hardest hitting ones, so it might be a good option if you're struggling to keep your Pokemon alive going up against this boss. And then of course there's Darkrai, which is one of the top DPS Dark type Pokemon that are currently in the game. You could use a whole bunch of Darkrai to completely nuke down Lugia. I mean, it's really going to come down to a big DPS race, like you're going to want to dish out as much damage as you can possibly bring. So yeah, Darkrai is a really great option here. But let's say you're lacking in legendaries. Well, there's plenty of budget Pokemon that you could use considering that there's so many different counters to Lugia. First and foremost, there's a whole bunch of shadow Pokemon that you can get. Most of these shadow Pokemon are readily available. For example, Shadow Electivire and Shadow Weavile are going to be the hardest hitters. You could also go with Shadow Raikou and Shadow Magnezone and Shadow Zapdos as well. Now, if you are lacking in any of these, then you could even go with Shadow Mamoswine, considering that Mamoswine is an Ice-type Pokemon, and it will dish out just a lot of DPS up against Lugia. And then, of course, there's also Shadow Tyranitar. I mean, there's just so many different Pokemon that you can bring, considering that Lugia has so many different type weaknesses. Some of the Mega Evolution Pokemon that you can consider bringing is, of course, Mega Houndoom and Mega Gengar. Although, with Gengar, I would be very careful, considering that it's it does have that poison typing, which means Lugia's psychic type attacks will melt down your Gengar. But of course, Mega Gengar is one of the highest DPS Pokemon in the game, and if you're top loading your team with a whole bunch of Giratina Origin form, then yes, that could be a really great option. It's really going to come down to what your raid mates are bringing. Like if they're bringing a whole bunch of electric type Pokemon, then I highly suggest you bring a Mega Manetric to boost up all of those electric types. Or if they're bringing a whole bunch of ghost types, 
then that is when I would opt to bring Mega Gengar. And if they are bringing a whole bunch of Dark types, then you could bring Mega Houndoom. It really is going to work out like that. Especially when it comes to Dark types, there's plenty of different Megas that are available that are going to boost up all of the Dark type Pokemon in your raid party. There's even Mega Gyarados, which I believe is an underrated Mega Evolution. If you bring Mega Gyarados with Dark type attacks, it could actually melt down Lugia no problem. But yeah, there's just so many different counters that you can bring. Lugia is one of those raid bosses where what Pokemon you bring is not necessarily the issue. Considering that it does have some well-rounded stats though, it's going to be really difficult to take down with a very few number of trainers. So I highly suggest you go with a higher number of players. If you want to defeat this Pokemon comfortably, then I suggest you go with at least four or five other trainers. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can go with two or three trainers. But of course, this will require the absolute ideal conditions, which means you and your buddy needs to be best friends. And then of course, you need to have a whole bunch of Pokemon that are maxed out, as well as some that are weather boosted. Lugia is a psychic and flying type Pokemon, which means it's only going to be boosted by one weather type, and that is of course windy weather. So if you're looking for a weather boosted Lugia, then that is when you're going to want to go out and raid this boss. In terms of Lugia's move pool, there's not any that's going to be a major threat, but if you are going with Gengar, then you will want to watch out for Extra Sensory and Future Sight, considering that they are one of the most powerful psychic type move sets that you can go up against. But yeah, overall, this is not a really difficult boss by any means, just as long as you're bringing the right counters, you should be able to take down this boss no problem. If you want a perfect IV of Lugia, then the one you're going to want to look out for is 2115. And if it's weather boosted, you will want one that's 2645. These are the perfect IVs for Lugia in raid encounters. So yeah, if you want a really good Lugia, then you will want to look out for the ones that are closest to these numbers. And don't forget, Lugia can be a shiny Pokemon, which a lot of players are looking for this particular shiny, considering that it is a collector's item. And there's just a lot of vanity behind it, considering that it was the first shiny legendary that was introduced into Pokemon Go. And just in general, it is one of the coolest looking shinies in the game. Now in terms of Lugia's effectiveness in raids and PvP, there really is no place for this Pokemon, unfortunately. When it comes to Psychic type Pokemon, there's just going to be so many others that are going to outclass it. But if you are able to get a Lugia with Aeroblast, which of course is a legacy move, then yes, there is potential for it to be a flying type attacker. But considering that it doesn't have a flying type quick attack, it's not necessarily going to outperform Pokemon like Moltres and Rayquaza. But still, this is a cool Pokemon to have and it's always a very solid trade chip. If you have a whole bunch of shiny Lugia, it is very likely that you will come across another player that is looking for a shiny Lugia and you could possibly get a really nice trade bargain out of it. So yeah, there you have it everyone. This is my raid guide for Lugia. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section below. Do you have yourself a really good Lugia? Is there a particular tip in this video that I completely missed? Definitely share them down below and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and found it to be helpful. If you did, make sure you share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. I am Count Jinsula, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.